What's up, you guys? So actress Megan Good recently and surprisingly opened up about her divorce from preacher Devon Franklin in an interview with Exo Nicole's Gia Peppers. Megan and the cast of the Amazon Prime hit show Harlem were discussing the show on Twitter spaces and then started having a woman talk conversation about relationships and goal setting. And each of the ladies shared their relationship experiences and the importance of truly moving on when the relationship is over. And Megan shared that getting divorced has been really painful for her because she really thought she would be married to Devon for a lifetime. She shared that with other people she dated, she knew it was a temporary relationship and so she set her expectations accordingly. But with Devon, she thought it would be for a lifetime and she shared that getting divorced is the most painful experience of her life. Here's a snippet of what she said. You can hear the full conversation on Exo Nicole by following the link below in the description box and in the comment section. You are watching Layla Lynn TV and I spend a lot of time researching my videos and editing my videos. And I almost always forget to tell you guys, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button and hit the bell so you don't miss another video. But, you know, it's interesting because throughout my life, I've always approached relationships as understanding that at some point they will, you know, they'll they'll get to the place that they're going and then they will be over, you know. And I've always had an attitude of like, all right, you know, next chapter and we'll see what's next and being OK with that and appreciating what you give to someone and what they give to you and sharing a moment in time and in life. Um, that you never get back. And so regardless of how it ends, just never regretting it and being a complete gratitude for the experience and the space that you guys took up together in that season. And I think, you know, in in my situation right now, it's a little different because I thought that that was the last time that I would ever be doing that and I would be doing this with that person forever. Yeah. And um, the fact that it's not that situation, it's it's been for sure one of the most if not the worst, most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life, to be honest. Megan Good also mentioned something extremely important about how her divorce has affected her. She shared that it's made her closer to God, in essence, because God's love is the true love that will never leave you or forsake you. His love is the lifetime love. Our spouses may leave one day, but God will never leave us. I think that I've um kind of surprised myself where you know even though I've been grieving for months and months and months and months and people haven't known that because the news only just came out when it came out but um I've been in process since the end of August since right after my 40th birthday um and I think I surprised myself in realizing that I still am that person I still am optimistic I still am hopeful for the future I still Maybe this isn't a chapter, but I do feel that this is my next act in life. Mm -hmm. And I trust God and um, not everything makes sense to me right now, but I do trust God overall. And I'm excited to see what this next act of life is going to be and, and what God has in store. Um, and that's all I can really do. But even in doing that, I do have gratitude and, and so much joy in my heart for these past 11 years that Devon and I have been together and what he's given to my life and what I was able to give to him and just everything, every season, every single part of it has been incredible. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's important for every relationship to yeah. know that it really is about perspective and it really is about how you perceive and look at things and trusting God in the process, no matter what it is, because your faith in God is, is only valuable when it's being tested and tried. And when you're going through the hardest things that you've ever been through, that's when faith actually matters. Having faith when things are going well is easy. Having mm. faith when things are crazy and they don't make sense and you're confused or whatever it may be, that's when it really matters. And that's when you get the closest to God. Um, mm. So in that sense, I'm I'm in complete gratitude across the board. Still, still grieving, still hurt. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a long time, but but at the end of the day, um, it, it has, like Shaniko said, it made God even more my lover and even more my husband, and even brought our relationship to new to new depths and new heights. So um, I'm in gratitude for that. 
I think that's great that Megan is still grounded in her faith in God. I would hate for her faith in God to be shaken because of something a man did. Not God, but a man. I see a lot of people draw false conclusions about God because what a person or people in their life have done to them. But I think it's important to remember that those people are not God. They're just people. And it's faulty logic to draw conclusions about God based on what people do. Devon Franklin recently wrote a book called Live Free, which was released in May of 2021, just three months before him and Megan separated. So I decided to read the book since it's called Live Free and he just filed for divorce from his wife. I wanted to see if there was a correlation between him wanting to live free and him divorcing his wife. I'm on chapter seven of the book so far, and although he hasn't talked about his relationship in the book specifically, he does talk about changing your expectations of people. One of the keys to living free in his book is releasing the expectations that you put on people that they may not have even agreed to. Like when you expect someone to change something about themselves and you're giving them time and you're giving them the space to change and you're really making room in your life for them to change, but then they don't change and you suddenly realize that they never agreed to change. And in some cases, you never even told them that you wanted them to change. You had expectations that they would change, that you never communicated to them and that they never agreed to meet. That's one of the examples that he weaves throughout the chapters of his book, Live Free. So I don't know if he expected Megan to change certain things about herself and he never communicated his expectations to her and she never agreed to change, but unmet expectations is one of the overarching themes of his book. And in his book, he also talks about releasing the expectations that have been put on him and that he put on himself. He did an interview with Jeezy about his book and he talked about how he was given the nickname Mr. Perfect in school because he was so focused on achievement and doing well in school because he tied his own identity and self-worth to what he could achieve in school. And he talked about how he had to let go of that Mr. Perfect persona and let go of the expectations he had of himself to always do things the right way. So one of the things for me, and this was a catalyst to writing the book. So number one was, and I talk about this in the book, that I, I wrote this because no matter all the successes I was having in entertainment and all the successes I've had in my life, I wasn't happy. Right. I was discontent. I was frustrated. I was mad. You know, movies would come out and, and, you know, and they would be relatively successful, but I wouldn't be happy. Why? And I started to say, man, you know what? There's something going on here. And I realized, oh, my expectations are so high. Wow. And I am I am attaching my personal value to the success yes. of a movie, oh, right. to the success of a book, right. to whatever happens on social media. Mm. So I am allowing these things to be the puppet master and control my life. And I got to the point, man, where I was so frustrated. I said, man, something's got to change. So number one, I said, okay, I got to get control of my expectations. Why am I putting so heavy expectations on my, on myself and then i had to go back you know i've you know I, I have i have a therapist i got a life coach man because oh, yeah. right. i'm like man i need help doing this work right. so as i went back i realized oh got it when i was a kid coming out of the death of my father one of the ways that i found acceptance was through achievement so if right. I did well in school, everybody right. said, good job, Devon. Right. If I, you know, played well in basketball, oh, good job, Devon. Right. If I was active in student government, oh, good job, Devon. Attaboy. So I started to create a performance-based uh, life. And I found my all my value in achievement. And it got to the point where people started calling me in middle school, Mr. Perfect. And so at first I was like, yo, that's dope. Oh, Mr. Perfect. But then as I got older, I said, oh, Mr. Perfect is a prison because I'm not perfect. Right. <laughs> but I'm putting up this image, right? Yeah. I'm trying to present this image that, oh, I got it all together and I'm doing it all perfectly and I know I'm not. Yes. So I had to get to the point where I was in enough pain that I had to make a different choice. Mm. And so I started to, to look at my uh, expectation. I started to go through the process of releasing as many expectations as possible. Why do I have this expectation? Why do I have that expectation? And what difference does it make? Whether I have a hit movie or a hit book or somebody likes what I posted, it doesn't matter. I gotta find the value here. And if I keep searching out there, 
I'm gonna keep searching for the rest of my life. Yeah. So it seems like Devon may have made peace with possibly getting divorced before him and Megan even separated if he gave up on trying to be Mr. Perfect and stop being weighed down by people's expectations of him and his expectations of himself. And it looks like Megan Good is making peace with the divorce as well. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Megan Good's revelations about getting divorced. And if you've read Devon Franklin's book, let me know what you think about that as well. As always, thanks for watching.